Deep in the forest, there is a family of trees. The leaves have fallen, and the ground and trees are covered with snow. It is December. As the trees shake off the snow, they talk about their dreams for the next year, as they usually do at the end of each year. Each tree has a special dream of what it wants to be. There is nothing more special than a church. I want to be an altar where I can receive and give gifts to God and to people in need. Ha, huh, that's too small of a dream for me. I dream of being a king's chair. Is there anything better than having a palace for a home? I hope of being a sailing ship where I get to see places I've always dreamed about. Do any of you dream of seeing the world like me? I, you trees think only of yourselves. I wish I could have my fruit all year, not just in the summer. That way I could share my gifts of apples with everyone all the time. Well, I would be. I agree with you, Apple. I'd like to be a house whose shelter and work to a loving family. Is there any other tree that would like to be in my house? I would like to be in your house. I dreamed of being a walking chair where a mother could take a song to a trigger. When a mother walks her baby, I feel loved. My? Well, to your client, what do you dream? I don't have fancy dreams like all of you. My dream is simple and real. I want to be the wisest of all trees. Who else would protect the forest? The birds? The squirrel? The deer? Someone is to watch over all of us. As the trees continue to talk and argue over their dreams, off to one side stood a little Douglas fir whose voice wasn't heard. Why doesn't anyone listen to me? Don't any of you care about my dream? Just because I'm small doesn't mean I can't have a dream. What can would have any use for a small tree like you? You're even too small to be a rowboat. Nah. Don't listen to them, little folks. Everyone's special, even you. When you are as old and as wise as I am, you will learn that no matter how big or how small, how hard or how soft, every tree is right to be needed and loved. All of you just wait. Every every tree has the right to have a dream come true, to be anything he or she wants to be. The little fir tree seemed to get taller, and even his needles seemed more green and bright. silent as they heard a family coming deep into the forest. So many trees. Which one should I pick for our Christmas tree? Where's the tree with the lights on it? Silly, the tree Daddy will cut down doesn't have lights on it. We put the lights on Christmas Eve. I want the biggest tree in the forest. How about this one? I want this ebony tree. This tree looks like <coughs> a very old tree. All trees belong in the forest. And this tree is too hard to cut down. Both trees are too big for our house. This tree looks sad and lonely. It needs a family and love. That tree's too yeah. little. Elizabeth, trees don't have feelings. We don't know that. Matthew, everything that God creates has feelings. Besides, that tree would look perfect by our fireplace. It would look special and beautiful when we decorate it. Well, if we don't have any other choice, I guess it will have to do by still with this one. Good. Now that we've all agreed, I'll cut down this tree. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. 
seems just to a starry night on the back porch of the family's home. The little fir tree is all alone, scared and cold. He talks to the stars. I never got to tell the other trees my dream. All I ever dreamed about was those people took me away before I could tell. All I ever dreamed about was being loved and cared for, not left out here all alone. Little tree, don't give up hope. When you feel sad and unloved, look up to the stars and remember your dreams. Dreams can come true. Stay first to God and believe. You must believe. tree never knew the angel could be right. His dream came true. He wanted to thank the angel if he ever saw the angel again. He wondered if he would. Mommy, don't all Christmas trees have angels on top of them? Why don't we have an angel? Angels cost a lot of money, Elizabeth. That's why we've never had one on top of our tree. One day, we'll have our own special angel for our tree. I'm going to bed and pray for an angel for our tree. That's a good idea. Bedtime, everyone, and let's remember to ask in our prayers for an angel for the top of our Christmas tree. Father, we The little tree feels loved. The tree prays for an angel, not for himself, but for the family who has made his dream come true. You came back. I was hoping you would return. I wanted to thank you for helping to make my dream come true. This family took me in praying for an angel. I wish I could help them. You can. I can? Let's say I can believe. Where did you go? God has answered their prayers because you believe, Little Tree. I am a special Christmas tree.
Where did it come from? When you dream and pray and hope hard enough, if you really believe, prayers may come true. We'll never know how the angel got there. Miracles happen for those who believe. Just as Mary and Joseph were blessed by the angel the first Christmas with the miracle of Jesus' birth. So we are blessed by God with our own very special angel this Christmas. From John 1. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. This is the testimony given by John when the Jews sent priests and Le Levites from Jer Jerusalem to ask him, Who are you? He confessed and did not deny it, but confessed, I am not the Messiah. And they asked him, What then? Are you Elijah? He said, I am not. Are you the prophet? He answered, No. Then they said to him, Who are you? Let us have an answer for those who sent us. What, what do you say about yourself? He said, I am the voice of one crying out in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord, as the prophet Isaiah said. Now they had been sent from the Pharisees. They asked him, Why then are you baptizing, if you are neither the Messiah, nor Elijah, nor the prophet? John answered them, I baptize with water. Among you stands one whom you do not know, 
the one who is coming after me. I am not worthy to untie the thong of his sandal. This took place in Bethany across the Jordan where John was baptizing.